sometimes standing still, he doesn't pop up under me. Sometimes standing still, he does. Sometimes I'm running and he pops up under me. I mean, I melted him. I just didn't know where his initial pop-up was. It's just always he moving in circles. See, I've had that hit me too, so. They give you an indicator on the wall when he's diving out of the wall. I like that. I mean, Pin is a similar react, a similar effect where he just pops out of the ground, but I don't feel like I've ever... Pin doesn't pop near the wall, and I think that's where that guy sucks. Like, you can walk into the boss room with Pin. This item is not very good anymore. Debatably, just not very good. Not good. Angel Raider, thank you for another five gift subs. Um... But yeah, like, Pin always jumps from the, like, I'm going to call it half court, you know? He never jumps from against the initial wall. Where that guy will just do like he did there and pop up underneath you at the door. It's still not bad. Ah, uh, It's super, like, in order to get damage from it. It's another Isaac thing, though. It can be really hard to read items because we have collect so many more along the way. But, uh, you know, at this range, it's bad. Just bad. Which is not very far. And I believe range up doesn't improve it in any way, shape, or form. So these are both fun, but not very good. Will I die? No. Sack dagger's great. Uh, but it's not great when you have one heart. I should clarify. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't die there. I thought he was going to be dead. I predicted my damage wrong and almost died. That's two small rocks in a row. Someone call fucking Ripley's. Does anyone even know what that is anymore? So I need the health up. I guess I'm not gonna roll it, but it feels bad. The gum, <laughs> yeah, the gum. <laughs> yeah, Ripley's, believe it or not, they still have those all over the country, I guess. America, anyway. I've never considered myself uh, really good at Isaac. I actually know that I'm not really good at Isaac in comparison to so many others. But I do feel like when it comes to strategizing and stuff, that's the only way I ever kept up with other people is trying to solve the game a bit more. Um, so I doubt I'll play enough Isaac to get into that shit again, that theory crafting shit that we did so much of in 2013. But um, that is always an interesting point to me. Sorry for those that just wanted to hear me talk about you know, silly stuff and play Isaac. I just, I am intrigued by ways to manipulate the RNG a bit. So Seeker could be there. Oh god, no, this wasn't a new save file. I don't have years of my life to invest into this. It's already gonna, if we already did the math, you're talking like 120 flawless runs uh, just to unlock the new content. If you flawless them. No, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm horrible or anything at Isaac. I just, I know there are much better players than me out there. That's all I'm getting at. And it's, I'm not fishing for fucking compliments or anything. I appreciate it, but, like, the re I just, I'm a very realistic person, right? I know when people are better than me. Like, Cobalt and I, the first time we raced, Cobalt beat me, like, seven times in a row. Second time we raced, I beat him, like, uh, I don't remember. It was, basically, we, we, we ended tied. 
Um, and I am nowhere near as good at Isaac as Cobalt is. But Cobalt never took the time to, to learn it like I did either. Is you know, to like the code and stuff. This was Waddle days. He's he's had fucking seven more years to learn it now than me, but um but yeah, we ended tied and I was actually like super impressed with what we had been doing was it actually mattered. But those that oh, I just took fucking damage. I was just looking at something because they were blinking as if they were taking damage and I wondered if they were going to burn out. So science is going to cause me to I should hold R, but I guess I'll go see if I get lucky. Because these guys aren't blinking. They're on fire and not blinking. But those other guys were blinking like they were going to burn to death eventually. Which would be cute. You know, they're just slowly dying Zambos. I don't think... I've always said this about Cobalt. I don't think there is a better, uh, like, true-to-nature like just feel it out player of the game there are better speed runners there are better racers blah blah now people that's been their focus but if you watch cobalt play uh you know he can be mid conversation and know exactly how many tiers he needs to kill an enemy like as his damage is evolving throughout the game it is apps that's where you really to me you see the knowledge like just you know sheer experience right There is no better player at that. He will, you know, three tiers on that enemy, four tiers on that enemy. He is insane at it. While simultaneous, simultaneously not getting hit by dumb shit like that. <laughs> but, again, I learned... I was... Watching somebody earlier, uh, T-Lex, and she was talking about, you know, like, Isaac, you're not supposed to get hit. And I was thinking, like, yeah, but uh, I don't want to do this run. Sorry, I'm going to reset it. But, I, I, but like, I kind of figured out ways to win even though I was getting hit constantly. <laughs> like, if you know enough about the game... I can take 20 times more damage than you because I know how to effectively get hit and, like, find health and farm guppy lives and things like that. Like, the majority of my runs through Rebirth and Afterbirth were won with one heart left. Like, and it's not because I was good. It was because I just knew, like, how to use my Polaroid procs and all that shit effectively. And you'll see me, like, when I need to play careful, I do okay at it. But the minute, <laughs> the minute I have health, I'm in a hurry. I don't, I don't, I can't do this shit right here for very long before I just want to do this. Didn't count right. Thought I knew. Someone gave me 20 bucks. Don't know about the glory days, but you're still fucking chilling. Awesome, dude. Thank you very much. You found your OG Dick Hammer Marvel Man shirt. Is it the red and white one? That one was my favorite shirt, honestly. Uh, this is my... I want that, but I need to see if I'm going to... Yes, sir, that's a good one. Thank you, to see. I've enjoyed having you all these years. <laughs> that always sounds just a little too hot. Well, not even in that silly, the only HP matters the last one as much as... Alright, so this is the run This is the run decider right here. <laughs> My shop is free, I'm taking it. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Wait. That key uh, recharges your item. Sorry, I've like really... I don't know what's it's it's been hilarious. I I got a lot done yesterday. Completed a lot more runs than I expected to complete, but none of them were on Isaac. 
But I have been fucking off on this Isaac to the to mother thing for ever. Do I want you sucked my battery off? I don't really want to do a dead cat run. That was a hilariously good shot, but I just didn't want to bomb my entire fucking shot pool away for it. Or you know what I'm saying. Donation machine. When I didn't even know it was in my item room. Can I have five cents, please? Can I have three cents, please? That's one. That, that, that gave me a total of three. Oh, that'll do it. Oh wait, I got. So like, let's just not talk to each other anymore, chat. Cause you're 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 the issue here, not me. There's a tinted rock. I was worried about not having enough money. I still kind of want that steam sale, but I guess I'll blap this. I'll be back for you. So even things like that, right? Like, I will intentionally leave those soul hearts because I know I won't play this pay floor patient. I still think it's, like, the right decision, but it lets me play this floor a lot more carefree, right? Go ahead. Hit my red hearts. I don't care. It doesn't affect anything. I got two soul hearts sitting there for the next floor. Like, that's just the the style of player I am. I tried to do the streaking shit that Cobalt does. Um, one, I'm not anywhere near as good as he is. And two, I just do not have the patience that man has. I have seen him slog through runs that I would have literally just never done. Stuff like that. You want me to run to the other side of the room to dodge? You got to see me grow over all these years? I have. A, a lot. For better or worse. Thank you for the another 20. You guys have been very generous through this. And it hasn't been an easy year. So this has been a nice... It's a, like a year to me. This is uh, kind of when I started doing the single dad thing last year. So this is my new year. Uh, so this has been a nice end to a very tough year. And I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm hoping I can get my head back on the straight, because I don't feel like I've been a... much of a... a streamer lately. If I use this key, I might be able to get my dice charged. Little things like that. It's only April. Yeah, it just explains. I think. He's recently low on technology. Yeah, I bet he's not holding R very often, is he? He never, I mean, he never, he hasn't done that. That hasn't been his thing. Just win. That's Cobalt's thing. There's apparently a non-English speaking guy out there who's done like some really nutty lost streaks and shit that are absolutely asinine. But I don't know him. Oh. So there can be flies that spawn in there and give you a dice charge. I left it in the house I moved out of. Cobalt's beard. How many I stole my toilet paper? See, y'all turn it into stole. Rude. This is not a very good start. I'm not sure why I'm doing it, but here we go. I spent a lot of time trying to explain that, you know, 
Kim didn't s steal it, per se. In her mind, that was her toilet paper because she bought it. It may, even though it was at one point, even though it was purchased as the household's toilet paper, she bought it. And it was always that way with Kim. <laughs> she never liked, like, and that's fine. She never liked the idea of marriage being a combination of assets, right? And I knew that about her. But it was funny to come home from a flight to have her move out and take in her toilet paper with her. <laughs> Very funny. All about the dumb story. You got, and you gotta laugh too, right? Like, I think a lot of people think that I'm some lunatic sometimes. But for me, I gotta laugh. If it's fucked up, there's, the only answer I have is to laugh at it. What else are you gonna do? Like, oh, that sucks. I don't know. <laughs> my neighbor didn't react too well. One of my neighbors who's been out of town since last year just got back. Because it's a lake, so they, you know, they're only here part of the year. And he asked, like, what happened to the remodel you started? And I, you know, I, I, I separated from Kim. Oh, that sucks. And I said, oh, yeah, and started laughing. And he's like, why are you laughing? I was like, I don't know, because <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do, cry, sir? We don't really know each other. I'm either going to laugh with you or, like, just we're going to stare at each other awkwardly. I guess I shouldn't have given an honest answer. Is the reality of it, huh? I should have just lied. The fucking stock market, you know? Oh shit, I thought that thing was frozen. It was just a big blue mitosis ball on it. Yeah, no, it can't be. I agree, it can't be. And it's not. But, uh, School starts again tomorrow, though. It was a nice week off from spring or for spring break. Man, school beats me up, dude. Having to be up for that. I used to sleep while Alice was at school. But since COVID took us all out of school, I just don't sleep. No, I sleep. Just not as much as I'd like. Can't stream as much as I'd like because of that. Same here. I don't have a great shot at affording that. I guess I'll fuck with angel rooms. I better find some soul hearts. No, I didn't say I don't want people to buy it, did I? No. I said, uh, do what you feel comfortable with. I just don't want people to forget the truth. And that's it. I don't want that shit to just fly under the radar. I don't have an answer. I really don't. I'm, I, you know. I liked getting accused of, uh, trying to cancel Edmund, though. That was fun. And that makes streaming the game fun for me. Because in the, in the end, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't put that much weight in my word, right? Like I, I don't. If you do, that's crazy. No. Uh, I can actually buy this roll. 
and then have enough money if I want. Or I could buy Champion's Belt. Because I don't hate it. It's damaged. Ah, oh, why do you do these things? Oh my god, he's doing it. Do I have a link for Humble? There was, there is one below. It's needs, it's, they wanted me to update it regularly. I just, I need to get some help, man. I just can't afford it. Oh, I actually dropped a bomb. I need to get a little help with that stream shit. I'm setting up shit, because we're, I haven't done any of that in so long, man. I'm getting there. Like I said, I'm feeling better, getting more positive about what I do and surviving it. Did not get any health, which sucks. That's just it's so hard for me to judge where those tiers are at. Am I the only one? You just have to be east-west with that shit, or I have no idea where any of them are going. I guess that's probably the point, but it hurts my head. So, if you look at my chance right now, if I had gone into that devil room, I would have had like a 16% chance to get either an angel room or a devil deal. Um, with a 30% chance overall of getting one or the other. There's been debate on that, but that's... I'm gonna... You know, I'm not a programmer, but I would... Anyway. Um, so by not looking in that room, I have a 0% chance of a devil deal. I was not tempted by Satan. And I have a 0% chance at a devil deal. And all 36% that I would have had is now Angel Room. Oh, is it covering the chance? Sorry. So yeah, you'll see there, 36%. There's never a perfect place to die, is it? Not today, Satan. You tempted me, but I did not bite. Actually, I just didn't have the health to sacrifice to. But that's new. So if you never knew that, it's new. Uh, there... <laughs> So, like, if you have a go-ahead from a curse room on the first floor or something like that, you can guarantee yourself a deal. It's pretty interesting. This drives me insane. I gotta just take it and pray. I'm slouching right now. I'll sit up in a little bit once my back says, Richard, you can't slouch anymore. I've been doing much better at not slouching. It's, it's such a weird thing, though, right? Because, like, this is so comfortable for every part of my body except my back. And I don't, I don't even know part of my body as much as, like, it's just how I feel relaxed. This is the position I want to sit in when I'm relaxed. And then sitting up in a position that doesn't hurt my back just makes me feel so wrong. Yeah, a lot of the multi-tier effects seem pretty solid now. I haven't tried $3 bill. That's the oldest one. I kind of want to check that challenge room, but... I guess I won't. I hate that it did that. I should have known that was going to happen, though. And that, again, like I said earlier, the, the, the hardest part sometimes with testing how good an item is is what do you have with it? Because... Like right now, these multi tiers are, you know, okay, but I've got like nothing going on otherwise. Ah, uh, shit. Did I have something to roll there? I don't think I did, no. I, sh I didn't go into my shop. I should have went into my shop. 
Actually, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go back and do that real quick. Two dollar note in a long time. I think you can still get them if you ask for them, like at the bank. You used to be able to. I don't know if you can anymore. Hmm. So I'm gonna try something here with this first, I guess, since I don't need my dice charge. Nothing that I really want to do with it. Thinking about how to use this Diplopolia in an interesting way, and I think I'm just gonna use it on the boss item. That's just like luck up, isn't it? I don't think they changed that for the DLC. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can still get twenty dollar bills harder than they don't have any real value unless they're like certain specialties, monies. My dad was a big money collector guy, coin collector and money collector. So I guess I'll just do this. This is only one re-rollable item, though, which is disappointing. Oh, and it didn't do the trinkets. Well, that was just not worth it. That options is confusing. Justice. I mean, I'm never going to buy that over this one. Why would I roll that? I think that can roll into other pools is the only reason I would buy that one. Yeah. I don't know exactly either. Just see, I think two years or... It's either going to be two years or going to be three years. I did have a pack of cigarettes on my vacation because my vape broke and I was in the middle of fucking nowhere, Kentucky, and it was either that or be miserable. So I smoked a pack of cigarettes and it sucked. I was so disappointed. <laughs> like, I really was excited about it. Like, I was trying to play it off like I wasn't, you know, because I didn't want the people I was with to give me shit about it. But it did. Back off? Yeah, I mean, I, I bought two packs that I thought we were going to go fishing all night and then only been fishing for a couple hours and only smoked, like, almost one. And left the others after I got a new vape. I, I just enjoy the vape more now. It took a while to get something with the vape that I really enjoy, but I do enjoy it more now. 
Oh yeah, I gotta pick and choose of those. That's how this works now. But it also proved that this, the vape is like just a whole nother really bad addiction, and they're not. And I've always said, I always said that from like the day I got into it, after because I went like two weeks with nothing, and I should have stayed that way. Um, but the vape just feels like a completely new habit, not like you're replacing one thing with another, or not, you know, not like they're uh, interchangeable. You are replacing one with another, but not that they're interchangeable. You know what I mean? Flap Snatch and Sheep Sing both very much. Uh, yeah. It's not like switching from cigars, or cigarettes to cigars, or from Marlboro to menthol, you know, like it's, it's a whole new separate addiction. Like the chemical may be the same, but anyone who's smoked as long as I have, knows you don't feel the nicotine anymore. I think one that a lot of non-smokers don't realize too is like nicotine isn't the really bad part about smoking. I still see that said so often. Like it's 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 the the way we got nicotine into our body that was so dangerous. And probably still is. I'm not claiming vaping is safe. I have no fucking clue. Um, but. Yeah, it's about damaging your lungs with smoke, right? It's smoke inhalation over and over and over. <laughs> Tar and the chemicals that were added to cigarettes as well. I'm sure we'll find great neg many negatives to vaping it. Inhaling not clean air. Yeah, going outside in fucking LA, right? Like, <laughs> these are things that are bad for your lungs. But it is not the chemical that you're addicted to. It's comparable to, like, caffeine and stuff like that. Yay. It was, I've said this a bunch, but I don't know why I always say that, but uh, I'm trying to stop. But yeah, I went to St. Jude for a charity thing and like one of the first things they said, they sat us all down to talk to us about what they do and talk about, starts with a talk about what is cancer, right? And like the first thing the guy says is, you know, people constantly say smoking causes cancer and that's not true. Smoking damages your lungs. The regrowth of cells causes cancer. So yes, in a way, smoking is the cause. However, it's not something directly in smoking, per se. There are carcinogens and shit, blah, blah, blah. But it's the damaging of your lungs. It's the repeatedly damaging cells and having them repeatedly grow that greatly increases your chance of cancer to grow. But we all have cancer just waiting in our bodies to happen, right? Like, like every single one of us has a, an innate chance of cancer regardless of what you do. Yeah, and that like made everyone in the auditorium look at me. <laughs> the resident chain smoker. <laughs> it's very awkward and funny. Can you just hold control to drop it? I don't know, he's a controller. That was not a pro smoking yet, by the way. Smoking still very much increases your chance of getting cancer. Do not smoke. Thank you that, for coming to my TED Talk. Just interesting the way we... 
God damn it, I'm never going to get used to that item. The way we sometimes, you know, attack the wrong thing. We, don't, we get half the information, and we don't truly understand the why of a lot of things, you know. Again, I was just sitting in T. Lex's stream, and she was saying that somebody was, one of her friends or something is in uh, forest health, which is, you know, going out and checking the health of a forest, which sometimes involves cutting down a fuck ton of trees. And people are constantly giving him shit as if he's some horrible monster because he's not saving the trees. But the reality is just <laughs> chopping down a tree isn't always a bad thing. Killing a deer isn't always a bad thing. Like, yes, there's a deforestation problem, but it's not <laughs> happening <laughs> in most places you're even aware of. It's not really a U.S. issue anymore. Like, we have greatly reduced our deforestation. <laughs> if it's not the Amazon, yeah, or, you know, there's other large forests that are just being deforested at a rapid rate because there's no rules like so yeah I hate I've always felt like that's just the case with a lot of things you know we we get so focused on hating things without understanding the why and then ignoring hating other things that matter just as much you know it's always was my thing with smoking when people come in here and give me shit about smoking and then go out to the bar and drive home drunk. <sighs> but I'll tell you right now, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I would put big money on secondhand smoke hasn't killed nearly as many people as drunk drivers and just alcohol, secondhand alcohol, if you want to call it that. But. And again, not about promoting one as much as about, let's just be honest with the problems in the world. aren't responsible for worlds overfishing you fish yes I do fish I take very 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 few fish a year and you know what I do every single year I give my state $50 and you know what that money goes towards stocking fish and fish preservation it's actually important they're desperately trying to find more fishermen and advertising it so that they can make enough money to continue to support our fisheries. Yep. That's a thing, man. Like it's not it's not made up because I like fishing. That's a fucking thing. Mr. the sarcasm? Okay. But yeah. It's it's real though, man. There are people that feel that way. They feel that because I fish I hate animals and that's just fucking dumb. Like, you don't eat meat, and you say it's because of, like, defending animals. You're only, like, defending farm animals that have no existence beyond farming. They will never come back to this planet as anything but a farm animal. They will not be wild again. We have domesticated them. They will not be wild again. I guess besides boars, if you want to count that. But wild boars and wild pigs have 
are wild. They're crazy in the fact that they do one causes the other, but they're very, very different once they go that route. Overfishing is really, again, an issue that exists outside of the United States of America. True overfishing is an issue that exists outside of America. It's happening horribly in South America, Asia. But these are places that depended on fish and population has grown to such a massive scale and they just don't have rules and regulations for it. Uh, yeah, I have heard that there are still some big issues in the Northwest. Um, Alaska still has some very unregulated fishing uh, due to <clears throat> a big argument between conservatives and natives. Um, you have a very... This is a touchy subject, borderline touchy subject, and again, I'm not that educated, so... Uh, if I get this completely wrong... It's possible, but basically from my understanding is you have a bunch of conservatives that want whatever the natives are getting, as well as you have a bunch of people who are an eighth native, uh, you know, blah 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 percent native that are still uh, using that as an excuse to go out and catch thousands of fish a year without any concern for the nature. nature. Um, so yeah, they're like battling against each other in a sense that basically fishing and wildlife up there still is pretty unregulated. And hunting is pretty unregulated because, you know, conservatives don't believe in giving anything to anyone else that they aren't also getting. Not all conservative, whatever, I don't need to defend that statement. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, it's not fair to U.S. doesn't have an issue. Uh, so, like, that's the thing, though, when I'm talking about fish and meat, right? Like, what I fish for, every single fish that I have eaten in the last, that I have caught and eaten in the last 10 years, you can't buy commercially. Um, so, like, and I'd, I'd say, like, 98% of the fish I have caught in the last 10 years, you can't buy commercially. So, yes, true overfishing is happening happening for things you know like the halibut and stuff like that that is getting sold to supermarkets around the US yes that is true that is true and are we a factor in that yeah definitely we should take responsibility we should recognize the fact that the reason people are overfishing it in these countries without rules and regulations is because America wants to buy it yes Yes, that's true. But the two, to me, are slightly different in what I meant was Americans fishing and hunting are not, you know, as detrimental as people like to scream and yell at them. And factory farming in other countries that's exported to the U.S. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is why I've been so adamant about not buying meat and doing it myself, harvesting my own meat. Um, because yeah, I can, and I can do it in a way that's conservative. Conservationist. Con conservative's not the word. Con you get this cross with conservation and conservative that confuses me. I think that's a big part of the issue, but I think there's also just this in wild disconnect, Holly. Like, let's be real here. The amount of people all over the globe that don't really recognize the impact that their area has on the globe. Like, there, there is this just massive disconnect. Like, we were just talking about with that, with exactly that with fishing. Like... He was right to say that U.S. does affect overfishing because the amount we consume, we consume. That's 
hand in hand with capitalism, but I bet there's a ton of people who don't even look at it, who don't even think about it, who don't even consider the fact that meanwhile we're fish, we're we're buying all of these fish, and the people that survive on them aren't getting them. Because there's snow during the winter? Well, that's why we don't call it global warming anymore. Because that terminology confused people. It's climate change. Climate change. Shit, that was bad. Climate change is also an incredibly interesting topic I've discussed with some people I know that have made weather and stuff their life um, because we don't have an insanely... I'm not battling against climate change here. I absolutely believe there's... It's without a doubt we have a massive impact on the climate. It's impossible to... Uh, the idea that you can fathom we have no impact on it is asinine. Um, but it's also very interesting to hear... Like, you know, again, we talked about this yesterday, how, how, how short modern history is relative to, you know, human history. We don't have weather logs from 1348. Um, so it's interesting to hear from weathermen. And again, it's a lack of information. It's, it's a true lack of information. You know, I was bitching to him about... Uh, how windy it's been and again my instant my brain instantly went to climate change and then I he linked me to a bunch of articles on wind cycles and how the winds actually like we're yeah we're up like five mile an hour over we were in 2005 or something like that on average our wind um, but it's a wind cycle that's a natural part of the world and again it's, it's, it's just getting the true fucking facts instead of but you gotta muddle through an endless amount of misinformation to try to figure it out. Vexation station, thing for the Prime Sub. We do have quite a bit through gl Glacial Core Sample, yeah. For sure. And again, I'm just speaking from... I find it very interesting to talk to... Ah! And there is some of this dramatic... Er, Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why can't I say that word? I can't fa put that word together in my head. Anyway, um, you know, like, we had this giant polar vortex thing that for us in Michigan was just, like, like a mild-ass winter. <laughs> like, it got cold, but, like, that's something I've dealt with a hundred times in my life. Uh, okay, exaggerating. I, I've only been through one winter a year. Um, but in other parts of the world, it was dramatic, and that shit just causes this this doubt and this inability for people to understand that there's other parts of the world besides their neighborhood. Think nature wipes out for ourselves? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not gonna even begin to guess at what happens here. Uh, my brother is dating a like a doctor, and she's about to be a doctor in like uh, political science with a focus on climate. 
I think something along those lines. Uh, so like I get to hear constantly how the world is doomed. She does. She actually, I, that's not fair. She's very cool about not, but like anytime we bring it up, she's like, well, actually, let me tell you about these papers I'm writing about how it's too late. We're fucked. So that's fun. I don't know what this is. So I'm going to buy it. D infinity reroll forever. Well, that was, that was a, a, a time we had there. Well, you get in the whole dilemma if we are truly fucked, then, you know, <laughs> might as well eat red meat. run is nothing I want. It never evolved into anything I want, but the conversation was good, so that's important. So I make choices that I'm comfortable with uh, when it comes to stuff like that. You know, environmentally, when it comes to stuff like that, you know, I, I spent a lot of time talking about how I felt on animals because there was a moment there where I was really considering, man, do I really, am I really okay with this? And I did like years of it now. I've been going over it and, you know, I've found my stance and I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, I kind of live a bit of a, you know, It's hard not to live a bit of it's your, it's my life, fuck it, you know? I'm gonna, like I would have loved to have been out protesting and doing things this last year, but like, I can't because of my life. I just, I cannot do it. Now is that, that, but only selfishly, right? Like selfishly, I cannot do it. We all have to remain to, I, I don't, maybe you don't, but I have to remain to a degree selfish or I will lose my mind. Problem is the debate part of that, I think. I don't know. I think having a conversation is fine, but everyone immediately wants to have a debate. What happened to a conversation? I don't know. Lost it in debate class, I guess. Like, you don't have to go into a conversation in, with the attempt of changing someone's mind, right? And that's what I try to tell stream all the time. Like, so many of the conversations we have have changed my opinion on things without anyone ever telling me I was wrong. Uh, it was just because we had a fucking conversation. And I list read your point of view as well as told mine. Or had a hard time explaining a bad point of view sometimes. But. The minute someone recognizes someone is wrong. And I mean, I, I'm at fault of it too. Uh, some things it's really hard to not do that with. The, the very obvious, what the fuck are you trying to say here, man? Uh, I... I actually got like as heated as I ever have been yesterday about this cancel culture nonsense that people keep spewing um, all right I, I I deserve to not be hit there uh, but yeah 
the minute somebody has recognized a difference of opinion, I didn't even need to bomb there. It seems like people want to fight. It doesn't help that there are some really just bad opinions going around right now that are like, nowhere near defendable. Milk belongs first in the bowl, or else the cereal gets soggy. Like that is just stupid. The dumbest shit. Honestly. Do you have a fucking tiny baby chipmunk stomach or something? Because you can't get any cereal in the bowl if you pour the fucking milk first. You just sit around and pour bowl after bowl after bowl into your milk like a weirdo? I believe, I 100% agree cancel culture is an absolute fucking myth. It is just not true at all. There is all, like, that was what got me so heated yesterday. This, this idea that all of a sudden... Cancel culture out of nowhere. There's all these memes going around from young... Like, I got... I, I, my brother's 18, 19, whatever he is. And I follow some of his... Or friends of some of his... His friends on Facebook. And they're all, like, posting about Eminem getting canceled. Like, bitch, Eminem was getting canceled when I was a kid. <laughs> Even more proof it don't exist. Like, his whole, that was part of his shtick before we had a fucking name for it. He has a soul song about it before we had a name for it. And the only people that I see that are truly out there advertising it, advertising all this canceling, are the ones who are upset about it. It's hilarious to me. I didn't see a single person say, not one, say, let's cancel Dr. Seuss. But I saw hundreds of people saying he was being canceled. <laughs> and like, I do, and I do follow a very conservative bunch of people because of where I live. I mean, I, I don't have to. I, it is a choice I mean. Yeah, and then the internet gets obsessed with these terms to, you know, prove their fucking point right, I guess. They're not even, they don't even know what they're mad about at the fucking time. The pocketbook of boners is just my go-to with the Dr. Seuss thing. Anytime someone brings up Dr. Seuss to me, I'm like, yo, dude, you reading that pocketbook of boners? Dr. Seuss's first canceled book. You're not a real Dr. Seuss fan. Unless you're reading his pocketbook of boners. That's Dr. Seuss's first book, yeah. It's called The Pocketbook of Boners. And it's not printed anymore. Because we don't say boner and mean mistake. We say boner and mean an erection. But again, the world changed. The word changed. The world changed. I bet the comedy's not funny anymore either. It stopped getting printed. Either that or your great grandma done canceled Dr. Seuss long before we did.
And as a parent, like I think it's important that we talk. I talked about it, but it, as a parent, I think it's important that you know we don't. Yes, this shit that you know. It was appropriate for its time, however you want to fucking word it. Like, I, yes, that shit exists, and you may want to share it with your kids, but you, as a parent, you want to be the one making the decision if or not to share it with them, and you want to be there or make sure someone is there to explain to them the parts of it that are no longer acceptable. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> Everyone should want that. But no, I don't want my daughter picking up a Dr. Seuss book and thinking it's okay to call an Asian person she meets the man with the slant eyes. No, I don't want her to say that. That's what the doc one of the Dr. Boost books said. Dr. Seuss book said. Isn't eight ball good? It's shot speed, it's not terrible. What are the cons of killing an angel there? None. Dr. Booze. The books are already already exi always existed. There, there's, you know, just because they're that's that's the thing too. They're not being pulled from every shelf and burned in a pile. They're they're just not being printed anymore. People make blow shit out of proportion just to be pissed off and because they don't really get it they don't really know what it means they think it's something it's not there are unfortunately a large portion of people that are still just un so uninvolved and that's kind of what I was saying I think to Holly earlier there is still unfortunately just such a large portion of people that are so uninterested in being involved in it that really just don't know what's going on in the world. It's scary. And you got two sides, or two types of people. The extremely passionate, want to scream and yell, and share shit over and over and over to you on Facebook, and then the ones who are just like, trying to, trying to live hands off, and they both suck. That's the spawn little babies one. I don't need that. Oh yeah, I guess you got the third group. The those profiting off the other two. That's what they say, devilish, but that doesn't really happen, right? Like, that's the point of me saying cancel culture doesn't really exist, is that doesn't really happen. These people that you, we're calling, that we're, the, the bitch from Star Wars, like, you know, these people that we're saying we rallied against them to drive them off the screen and shit. It's just, I mean, Disney has been dropping people for decades over much less than that. It didn't take a rallying call from the people to cancel her. She made a, she made she made an error in judgment if she wanted to continue to work for Disney. That's it. Our fucking Tim Allen and his political shit. They removed him from one channel and then Fox picked him up. Like you want <laughs> You want to, and people want to call it canceling, but the reality is it's just certain people are going to choose to no longer associate with you because of the shit you do. But don't worry, there's plenty of other fucking assholes out there that are going to have the same opinion as you. I don't 
know what I want to accomplish here. I, again, it's just what are your what you're calling canceled? Because you did something that offended people, <laughs> you no longer get to do things like that again. You no longer get to be put in the spotlight to do that again. And you act like this is like some crazy, oh my god, we shouldn't let this happen thing. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't see it. I'm not buying it. You got fucking people like PewDiePie that have spent, how long has PewDiePie spent now defending slash antagonizing this opinion of him being racist? And he's still what? On YouTube. And I'm playing Isaac. Uh, fuck it. I, my, I, my brain is just melted. Now. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish in this run. Stuff. Dead cat here is kind of a fuck you to me. And my only guppy piece, right? For the most part, if you want to come up with some obscure, you think X was canceled, for the most part, the shit that's being screamed about by the masses is getting canceled. It's just that the world is changing. That's my point. And the world is going to continue to change, and people need to just fucking accept that. That, I mean, I don't like change is really a big answer, a big reason this is such a heated discussion. It really is. You've seen it. It's not new, though, either. We would have new names for it, but it's not new, though, either. You know, when, I, when my grandparents were alive, they would complain about my parents' generation and how much, how they did it different and better in their generation. It's not new. That's the saddest part. It's just repeating the same nonsense over and over and over with different fucking names for it. Me too. I hate the lack of change. It's the biggest, like, just try. <laughs> just try shit, y'all. Yeah, like, we, we, we all are so aware of so many problems in the world. Uh, like real problems, whether you want, it, like that, no political opinion can persuade you on here. We're aware of issues in the world, but we just don't try anything because we're dumb. Gross. But again, the, the speed at which we've progressed over the last, you know, any amount of years you use in the hundred. I, actually, any amount of years. It just continues to accelerate, right? 
it does really just continue to accelerate. Um, if you look at human history, we just continue to progress faster and faster and faster and faster. Is the only like positive light. I mean, we have progressed as a people. You can't deny it. The, the problem is globally is another issue as well, but we still, even globally, we have progressed as a people. I mean, you're all making jokes about it, but I'm, I'm just <laughs> trying to discuss it from a, a realistic standpoint. I'm all with it. I'm, I'm, you know, I get what you're trying to say, but yeah, that's the issue with the conversation for me right there. I definitely want to move faster, too. I'm not trying to say I don't. I got a kid that's gonna be 18 and fuck, not even 18, she's gonna be 13 in five years. You think I'm not terrified as fucking hell of the world she lives in? Yeah, I want it to, I want it to go faster too. A daughter, nonetheless. Um, I mean, how many years ago was it where her husband would have been able to hit her with a fucking broom handle and it was accepted? Certainly glad I didn't have her then. I can't, I don't know how anyone had a daughter then. As a father today who's just upset about the fact that she can't get paid as much as me, like, I'm struggling enough with that fact. I don't know how anyone had a daughter when they knew they were going to trade her off at 12 for a pig. Because it was normal then. And that was my point about we have progressed as a people that I know. I know there are still unbelievably horrible things going on in this world that you would think there's no way this is still happening. I know. But the only hope is that we continue to accelerate, and we have been. the time it took for women's rights for black rights compared to the time it took for gay rights you know for my trans viewers in here I hope that it continues to accelerate I do because we all live today You just married your daughter's off to strengthen your military alliance. I hope you're playing Banner Lord or something. Otherwise, I hope you really like me. Because I don't want you bringing your military <laughs> knocking at my door. I'm not one of those guys that owns guns and is looking forward to the day I get to use them. I'm the opposite. My friends are always giving me that bullshit about my gun friends are always giving me that bullshit about 
being willing to use them. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to set my down on the ground and let him shoot me. I don't want to kill a motherfucker. Yeah, see, I'm a, I'm still a big, like, you know, I still have my own opinions, and they're dumb, but, like, I'm still a fan of fighting. I still don't think there's nece necessarily anything wrong with two people deciding to fucking throw hands. Sometimes you need a solution, and the solution is to just hit each other. I'm a, I truly do believe it. And they still, they have not come up with a better solution for schools than letting kids just hit each other because this failed attempt at stopping bullying is is exactly that it's a failed attempt at stopping bullying it's just happening so bad without consequences that are are worthy i've said it a lot but like in my school if you talk shit about somebody long enough Somebody was going to beat your ass over it. <laughs> there was a consequence. Yeah, we still have this, well, we still have the society of tattletale. You know, we have to eliminate the idea of tattletales if we're going to pun attempt to punish bullies for being bad. We have to eliminate the idea of tattletale because the problem right now is socially is what we all talk about with school, right? Like the importance of the social, you know, the social part of school. Um, socially, a kid is going to become a fucking pariah if they're constantly running around being a tattletale. And that's still the way it is today even when there's no other way to defend yourself besides being a tattletale. Uh, that is not... We do not have a good system. And I know that comes with education and change as well and but if my daughter gets expelled for sticking up for herself i will you know i will not be mad at her More kids don't just fight and get expelled. Yeah, it's that. That's the one for me too, dude. Like, if I would have got expelled for fighting, holy shit! I had many, many fights in school. For those that don't know, like an absurd amount of fights. Um, it's weird because as I've gotten older, like I recognize that a lot of it is anxiety driven, and like. I experienced the same type of emotions that I experienced getting into fistfights when I have panic attacks now as an adult. Um, there was like, there really was something, <laughs> some emotion that I can't figure out how to let out since I stopped being able to punch people in the face. Um, and I got my ass kicked all the time. And this isn't some humble brag about badass Richard. It's just more about, you know, my psyche. <laughs> Psycho. Small fight. There is a no tolerance policy of fighting in most places now. Absolute no tolerance policy. Uh, I think there are still areas. I think my school, you, I'm not, I actually not 100%. But I would guess that due to the small school, there are still kids that can get away with it. And that makes it worse, right? When it's zero tolerance for some and not all. 
But again, I lived in a town where if, you know, when I had one kid specifically that I fought constantly, it was to the point that we were just constantly getting suspended in Saturday schools and shit like that, that our parents talked it out and... That's not an option everywhere, I know it. Oh, I almost fucking did it. I almost did it, y'all. I almost yeeted that fucker into nothing. Yeah! That wasn't a high yacht at all, but I live. Uh, subs, tips, bits, all that shit that lets me do this for a living. I appreciate it, and I'll see you probably tomorrow.